Hi guys, guess what? I'm here with your Bible reading today and we are starting a new book of the Bible today in the New Testament. We are into another new book. And does anybody know what that is? What comes after Second Thessalonians? First Timothy chapter one today. Greetings from Paul. This letter is from Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, appointed by the command of God our Savior and Christ Jesus who gives us hope. I am writing to Timothy, my true son in the faith. May God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord give you grace, mercy, and peace. When I left for Macedonia, I urged you to stay there in Ephesus and stop those whose teaching is contrary to the truth. Don't let them waste your time in endless discussion of myths and spiritual pedigrees. These things only lead to meaningless speculations which don't help people to live a life of faith in God. The purpose of my instruction is that all believers would be filled with love that comes from a pure heart, a clear conscience, and a genuine faith. But some people have missed this whole point. They have turned away from these things and spend their time in meaningless discussions. They want to be known as teachers of the law of Moses, but they don't know what they are talking about even though they speak so confidently. We know that the law is good when used correctly, for the law was not intended for people to do what is right. It is for people who are lawless and rebellious, who are ungodly and sinful, who consider nothing sacred and defile what is holy, who kill their father or mother or commit other murders. The law is for people who are sexually immoral or who practice homosexuality, or are trade slaver or slave traders, liars, promise breakers, or who do anything else that contradicts the wholesome teaching that comes from the glorious good news instructed to me by our blessed God. I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has given me strength to do his work. He considered me trustworthy and appointed me to serve him, even though I used to blaspheme the name of Christ. In my insolence, I persecuted his people, but God had mercy on me because I did it in ignorance and unbelief. Oh, how generous and gracious our Lord was. He filled me with the faith and love that come from Christ Jesus. This is a trustworthy saying, and everyone should accept it. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, and I am not the worst of them all. Oh, sorry, and I am the worst of them all. But God had mercy on me so that Christ Jesus could use me as a prime example of his great patience and even the worst sinners. Then others will realize that they too can believe in him and receive eternal life. All honor and glory to God forever and ever. This is the eternal King, the unseen one who never dies. He alone is God. Amen. Timothy, my son, here are my instructions for you. Based on the prophetic words spoken about you earlier, may they help you fight well in the Lord's battles. Cling to your faith in Christ and keep your conscience clear, for some people have deliberately violated their consciousness. As a result, their faith has been shipwrecked. (coughs) Hymnius and Alexander are two examples. I threw them out and handed them over to Satan so they might learn not to blaspheme God. And that was our first reading, guys, of First Timothy, chapter 1. 
And now we're going to read our psalm for today, which is Psalm 86, a prayer of David. Bend down, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me, for I need your help. Protect me, for I am devoted to you. Save me, for I serve you and trust you. You are my God. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am calling on you constantly. Give me happiness, O Lord, for I give myself to you. O Lord, you are so good, so ready to forgive, so full of unfailing love for all who ask for your help. Listen closely to my prayer, O Lord. Hear my urgent cry. I will call to you whenever I'm in trouble, and you will answer me. No pagan god is like you, O Lord. None can do what you do. All the nations you made will come and bow before you, Lord. They will praise your holy name, for you are great and perform wonderful deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart so that I may honor you. With all my heart I will praise you, O Lord my God. I will give glory to your name forever, for your love for me is very great. You have rescued me from the depths of death. O God, insolent people rise up against me. A violent gang is trying to kill me. You mean nothing to them, but you, O Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. Look down and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant. Save me, the son of your servant. Send me a sign of your favor. Then those who hate me will be put to shame. For you, O oh Lord, help and comfort me. And that was Psalm 86, a prayer of David. And lastly, for our Bible reading today, we're going to read Proverbs chapter 25, verse 17. Don't visit your neighbor too often, or you will wear out your welcome. Amen to that. And that was Proverbs chapter 25, verse 17. Okay, guys. That was today's Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. I think it was raining this morning. I thought I heard rain hitting the window. Still looks kind of rainy out there today. Just looking at all the pretty colors out the window. Seen a lot of pretty trees and stuff when I was out yesterday. I was wishing I would have took my camera with me. But anyways, I'll let you guys go. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.